Aqueduct, drop guac. All right, Frankenstein. We got some more goodies for you. What is up, everyone? Today's video, we got some more goodies for the Frankenstein. We got to get more stuff done. So I was actually working on last night a little bit on the interior a little bit. So look at what kind of started to come in a little bit. Back seat. The back seats kind of started to come in from the upholstery guy. Um, he had had the back done too, but um, it sat too high. It sat way too high. I didn't like it, so I told him to take it back and um, have him cut it down. And that way, I didn't really want it past the deck lid. So, But the bottom is there. I like how the bottom came out. It looks really good. He kind of matched the front seat scheme. So if you look at the front seat, it's kind of what it looks like as well. The same thing as the front or the back. So it looks good. I like it. Um, if you guys remember, those were the GTO seats that we had back here for the longest time. We just had them redone. And then he's going to cut the backs as well. Look what else came in. Yeah, buddy. The dash came in. What do you guys think of this dash, huh? I like it a lot. And look at what we put in the, in the dashboard there. Little custom logo, little LSX Frankenstein. What you guys think of that? Let me know down in the comments below. But I like it. It was a very tight fit in this thing, though. Now, one thing you have to do, you have to learn and take in consideration, I should say, when you wrap a dashboard, it's just going to be that much harder to get this thing to fit correctly because it's so thick now. So everything becomes that much more thicker to kind of get in here. If you look, I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't sit perfect. But this is probably the best it's going to get. I might end up trying to run another screw here to this corner to try to get this a little bit more flush. But I think I got it pretty tight in there. Pretty tight to the lower half of the dash. It's not too bad. But we might run another screw through this corner right here and try to see if we can suck that down a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any ideas for that. If you guys done anything when you guys wrap your dash and what have you done to get it a better fit. I think it looks pretty good on this driver's side though. Oh yeah, look. Another little, little upgrade we did here. We finally got our gauges in. If you guys saw my Instagram feed, we got them in the other day. I threw them in here real quick. Um, I got them pretty much wired in for the most part. I really didn't go over this process. I, I thought about doing it, but this is my first experience with this Innovate gauges, so I didn't really want to put you guys through that. But I will, once we get these up and running and everything dialed in, I'll kind of maybe go back and touch on it and do a video on that. And let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. Put it down in the comments below. This one right here is actually a um, fuel pressure gauge. And this one's going to be a uh, wide band slash boost gauge. Um, so I'll have that one there. But let's get to the video. We got this little guy here. Now, I went to try to install the rear view mirror. I was like, I was like, the rear view mirror really didn't, I didn't really like, I didn't really like the stock one. Like, I felt like we needed to do something different. And... I really didn't want to go with like the Chevy Bow Taiwan or anything like that. I wanted something different, even more than that. But so I went with this guy. Yeah. Whoa. Big boy, huh? This is a four panel mirror. And if we're building the car to, you know, autocross it and road race it or whatever, any kind of track event or anything, we might as well actually make it purposeable like put stuff on there that we're actually going to be able to use like this mirror so let's open this up i'll show you what this thing looks like forgive me y'all it is hot man it is getting so hot here in vegas it's crazy we just came back from oregon oregon it was so nice out there it was like i don't know 75 80 degrees tops something like that and also forget the mess in the car I've been working like crazy in here and it's been getting dusty and dirty. Hardware, bolts, all that sh shite is in here. Look at this thing though, huh? We should, we should able, we should be able to see your mom in this thing, huh? In the rear view. Oh, look at that. 
What do you guys think? Too much or just fine for what we're doing? Like I said, I mean, like I said, I'm really, I'm like I said, I'm really gonna have fun with this car and we really gotta be able to enjoy it. A little something like that. All right, so there's not, there's not a lot of whole lot of instructions, obviously on that box, nothing crazy, but it's really not really that complex. So there's not a lot to it. You get these two brackets here. You got the long brackets like this, and you'll put them on there with the nut and the washer, one on each side. That bolt does not come on there. You just slide it through and you attach your bracket there. And then you're gonna have these two L brackets. These two L brackets are actually gonna mount up into here. If I can get this thing correctly positioned like that so you'll have your 1l bracket there along with 1l bracket on this side and you just kind of put it up there mock it up have you gonna have this center line here with the center line of the steering column um, and that's really all there is to it you're gonna need just a 1 8 drill bit along with a Phillips bit to tighten those screws down and then once you get these all the hardware comes with is that you're gonna need and these will actually be to loosen and tighten the actual mirror to adjust it up and down. So depending on what position you want it, but um, let's go ahead and get started. you guys what do you think it is in uh, you guys can see me yeah buddy I like it you see we struggled though it shouldn't even been this hard it was so stupid this hardware that comes with this kit is actually this is from Speedway Motors by the way Speedway Motors this uh, mirror and it just I don't know the hardware just kind of sucked that just we had broken two bolts this one was no way I was going to get it out. So all I did was re-drilled a new hole and a, put a new screw in it so you guys can see. But you'll never see that. But I like it. It's something different. I know it's not for everybody. But hey, like I said, I'm building this car more race oriented and actually drive this thing. Or You know what I mean? So it's not a, you know, restoration or a, what do you call it? Uh, just all original restoration. So by far. So... I'm gonna do what I want. If you guys like it, let me know. Let me know if it's a good idea. Let me know if this is something you guys have considered, especially if you guys are racing, autocrossing, whatever you guys are gonna do. That way I can see you suckers, I mean players, in the rear view. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. But, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I'm sweating, super sweating my butt off in here. Super hot. If you guys have not, check out the swag. Check out the swag, gooseperformance.com. Link down in the description below. Um, also, like I said, I got the diffuser coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. We're just working on a few things, but they will be up soon. So I'll keep y'all posted. Stay wrenching. What you wanna do when the sun goes down?